that I uh, do share some of the highlights of this program today with the IFN community. So, no, I It is a service-oriented program 
that provides tuning, one is health awareness to a certain degree of health screen. And we have come to your community here to provide health screening for many times. Dr. Parker is one of the pillars of this community in terms of providing those services to you for diabetes, for blood pressure, for dental health, for eye care, and for cholesterol screening also. Dr. Raza, Dr. Kavdi, so many of you have, Dr. Ali, so many of you have participated in this program for which we are very, very grateful. Now, it is important for us to know the health status that we have. Because if you don't, one in four of us have blood pressure, we don't know about it, all of them. 47 million people have diabetes in the country, and about 7 million don't even know that they have diabetes. About 1 million people have heart attacks every year, and half of them don't even survive. So these are very sobering realities and sobering statistics that we need to understand, so that we probably follow our diet and exercise instructions so that we avoid all of them. If not for our own self, at least for the loved ones that we have around us, we need to maintain our health. So that's one program that CCN does. The other program that we do is access to affordable health care. For a small fee of $25 per visit, we have all these physicians in the network, the primary care doctors, that are willing to see them in their clinic. And these are not charitable clinic by any means. These are all private physician offices. Dr. Durani is here, one of our new kind of recruits into the program just tonight. He agreed to become part. Dr. Bhavani is there, and Dr. Sapi at one time was, but now he's in a bigger center, so he cannot see as well as people, but he's doing his part. So these are the physicians that are in private practice that are seeing patients for a flat fee of $25 primary care, and maybe for the specialist care that is a little bit higher of $35. This is a big deal. As you all know, the charges for normal uh, physician services are about $200 or more. So these people have discounted their fees significantly. And that is for the benefit of people that are visiting, or people that are uninsured for any reason, or people that may be undocumented. Uh, pre conditions is not a problem, and any legal status is not a problem either. So that's uh, the one part that I think people need to understand. And we go about during Ramadan promoting this network so that people who want to join it, normally there is a small fee, like $10 a month, but during Ramadan we waive that completely. If people want to join to experience this network, then they can join for, for free for the six months that we offer it so that people get to know what this program is all about. And they get an ID card, the ID card uh, authorizes them to get the benefits of not only the physician services, but also that and x-ray that are also in the net. So this is a good program that I hope that you will take it from here. And if you know some people who can benefit from it, please do take uh, advantage of it. Ramadan is a time of introspection and reflection for us. It is not just a time for fasting. So that, uh, it is not just a matter of uh, knowing that we are going to be hungry. Because at the end of the they, most of us, break our fast, right? And then the hunger is done for us. But we should realize that there are millions of people around the globe for whom the hunger does end at the end of the year. We also bother ourselves to describe with the fact that there are sleepless nights, four of the day, hardly any time for us to rest. But we should also realize that there are millions of people for whom these sleepless nights don't end. The dawn that comes the next morning, bring them the same to be more of the So we are very blessed, we are very privileged, and we need to recognize that we have to big that. We have to become part of the solution for this country. And you all know that the country is on a sliding slope. There are many, many problems in this country. Healthcare is one of them, but family values is another one of them. Immigration is another one of them. Education is another one of them. You go around and ask the people how many people can afford college education in one hour. So all of these problems exist in this community, in this country that we are living. We call ourselves as, you know, our adopted home now. We probably should kind of focus on not only the beautiful structures that we have built, but also in building relationships outside of these structures and doing something for the common good. And healthcare is just one of these areas that we have decided that our passion rests in. So we will be here for the rest of the evening. Dr. Sathya will be along with us. If anybody wants to ask any more questions,
Legend, we do provide and inshallah I think we will drive them to the for soon. Thank you so much. Uh, it's, a, it's a good theme of giving back, inshallah. So it's a good program. If you want to sign up for these, uh, their forms are available. Please stop by and do sign up for them. Uh, just one more thing of reminding of giving back. Uh, as